we'll just go ahead and hop into the game. We'll hop into the server. And then we will be good to go. Am I excited for GTA 6? I mean, I'm indifferent about it. Like, I think GTA 6 will be fun. But at the same time, I'm not exactly, like, static. You know what I mean? It, it'll, it'll happen. But, uh, turn that off. No, my luck, that shit's copyright and get me banned. What are you trying to say? My characters look amazing most of the time. This one isn't my finest work, though. I will say that. So, Jack, I went to the dentist, um, like a couple days ago. Can't remember what day now, but, uh, got a checkup for the first time in years. And they said to me that I had to get a deep cleaning, I have to get. Four cavities. Oh, he's around. Sorry, chat. Um, I will finish that story in a second. All right, chat. Looks like he's ready to go. Let me go ahead and boot up the character, and then uh, we'll figure out how to where to go from there. Just remind me to get back to that story. Remind me to get back to that story. So this is Chris Chan. This is the character I made. <laughs> he looks amazing. Oh, come on, the dentist isn't that bad. All right, let's play. I think I have the... I don't know where to spawn. You guys can hear the game? All good? Hopefully, the stream does not interfere with my microphone. Hopefully. I have time to think of a voice. Um, uh, yes, I am Chris Chen. Um, mm, yes, I am the Chris Chen. Mm-hmm, yes. Me, Chris Chan. Yeah, watch me be in the wrong server. No, it doesn't, doesn't want to... There it goes. Didn't want to fucking... Auto-focus. Uh, I'll know when it's a normal person when they walk towards me, because I'm going to be like, yeah, that... An NPC doesn't walk like that. Set up pin. Chat, don't look at my pin. Chat, stop it. Chat, no. Stop it. You didn't see anything. Don't look at the pin. Is there an, a faster way to pull up my phone? What the? <laughs> That's not it. You excited, chat? We're gonna get our character all made? So that whenever we're ready to actually stream this game, or like RP, then it'll be ready to go. I can jump in. I don't remember putting flip-flops on. Bro. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting, chat. Still waiting on him. He'll show up. Eventually. Maybe he's grabbing uh, my paycheck. Even though I'm not employed. Man, where is this motherfucker? Come on, where are you? Come on. When did you send this message? Bro, it's almost 10 minutes. It does not take you 10 minutes to get here. I want to get my interview done. So he can tell me that I don't get to work there. Then I can quit and I don't have to play RP. You think that's gonna happen, chat? You think I'm gonna just go through the interview? He's gonna be like, wow, yeah, no. Definitely not. Maybe if I walk around, I'll actually find him. Ain't nah, fuck not here. Dude, this place is filthy. My god. Need to hire a custodian. Probably this fucking guy. Come on! Oh my god, that was so loud! Dude, what the hell? That was so fucking loud. How do I turn that down? Bro, do I really need to... Stop! It is so loud. How do I turn this down? Go try to talk to the guy. This guy? Are you the guy I need to talk to? Me, Christian. Ready to work. What is going on? Oh my god. Chat! Where is he? It's almost been 30 fucking minutes. I hope you got into like a shootout or you're something. Because you are taking so long to get here. If he comes up to me and he's like, I forgot. I'm going to be like, bro. Are you serious? I might as well just follow that fucking lady around. Sounds like she's getting up to more shit than I am. How many of you think that he's going to be here? Let's see. It's been... It's been almost 30 minutes. 
Type one in the chat if you think he's gonna be here by 30. I already tried talking to him. Well, Nothing happened. No, I mean, not your cell phone. Chat, type one in the chat if you think he's gonna be here by 30 minutes. Or do you think he's gonna be late? Type two if you think he's gonna be late. Bro, I told you, I'm in, I told him. So he has, he's got seven more minutes before it's been 30 minutes of waiting here. He has seven more minutes, chat. Well, chat, I guess since we're waiting, I guess I can continue the story. So. How was open that would have been like his cue to show up, but okay. So we went to the dentist a while ago to get a checkup. And the dentist told me that I need a deep cleaning. I need, I have two, no, no, no. no. I have four cavities that are coming in through the bone. They're not like physically present yet, but they are forming. And that like, I'm in the early stages of gum disease, but apparently that's common. So, just, just for background, I don't have any insurance yet. Uh, I might have already told one of you guys in chat already, but I want you to take a guess on how much it would cost me to get my, oh, I also have wisdom teeth that have grown in, but they're not an issue, but they said that if I want to, I can pluck them. Um, I want you to guess how much it would cost without insurance for two teeth pulling, two wisdom teeth pulls, a deep cleaning, and uh, taking care of four uh, cavities. $4,500 is how much it would cost for me to get my teeth completely to a state that they tell me is like back to normal. They actually told me that the fact that I use an electric toothbrush is a good thing, so I'm already good with that. But then they also said, uh, I didn't know they had one of these, it's a uh, water flosser. So instead of using like the string floss and shit, there's like this like flosser that is just like water, wa like water powered. So me and my fiance went to the store to get one of those water flossers. It was like 40 bucks. Chat, if you have not tried a water flosser, I would highly suggest you give it a try. It is fucking crazy. What? Bro, he, he just messaged me saying he's waiting in the hospital. I thought he was gonna meet me here. Are you serious? He didn't, oh my God, chat. Well, whoever said he was late, you're right. All right, where the hell is the hospital? Is that the hospital right there? I didn't know I was supposed to meet him at the hospital. Bro didn't say anything. All right, chat, we gotta be a good little citizen. He, did, he didn't say that. Home dude never said that. He didn't tell me I had to meet him at the fucking hospital. He didn't. He just told me where to spawn. And that was it. Bro, if I swear, if I cross the street and I get wrecked, we're gonna have issues. That changed so quickly? Oh my god, what the hell? This shit changed so fast. I've been dying to talk to you. God, I was stuck on Haywick Avenue yesterday. Well, they give me like five seconds to cross the street? Oh my god, I went the wrong fucking way. What happened with the bench? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, maybe I'm the one that's late for the appointment chat. But he didn't say to meet him at the hospital. All right, cross one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. What the fuck? I get eight, I get seven seconds to cross that street. That's that whole street. I get seven seconds. Man, they want me to run. All right, am I going the right way? I think I am. If the hospital's on that side of the street, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, chat, ready for the interview? Hopefully, it goes well. Okay, well, this is the exit. Bro, please tell me this is the hospital. It looks like it. I hope to God it's the hospital. He told me to spawn here, so like, if this isn't the hospital, I don't know what is. Oh my god, is this the hospital? Oh! Oh my god. 
Bro, I went the wrong way. Uh, chat. Went the wrong way. Bro, if I swear to you, if this is the wrong hospital, I'm going to lose my shit. All right, that's the emergency. I guess I go into the front door here. That's emergency. Is there an entrance around back? All right, chat. We're here. We made it. Hello, yes. My name is Christian. I am here for my interview. Uh, that, 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 that would be all him. He's in his head, though. Thank you. Hello, I am Chris Chan. I'm here for my interview. Hello, sir. Yeah, he's in his uh, head right now, so. Thank you. I will wait right here for him. We made it to the interview, and we're probably super fucking late. I guess we could make small talk with this guy. Oh, he just punched in the computer. Hello, sir. I am Christian. I'm here for my interview. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. My apologies for being late. I'm new to the city, and I couldn't figure out where the hospital was. Oh, that, that's no problem. That is no problem. We can... You can follow me. All right, chat. We're going to ace this interview. Get my hand off mouse one. I'm tempted to just sucker punch him in the back of the head. But I'm gonna get kicked off the server before I even have a chance to do anything else. <laughs> I probably need to remap that button. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you can get in there. Uh, I think we're just gonna do it here because all the room is so tiny. Don't actually have an office here, but it is what it is. Give me a second. No problem. I think I'm the late one here. I couldn't figure out where to go. We made a chat. Finally. Now we got to ace this interview. Oh, we're not going to get the job. Are you aware you gave me two applications? Yes, I am. I, I'm sorry about that. I had somebody fill one out for me because uh, I was still learning how to read. But uh, now I know how to read and I, I, I've sent one myself. You don't know how to read? No, I do now. Like that says uh, World First Aid Day. And uh, I mean, I guess that's uh, there's a bunch of text on there I can read for you. I failed, chat. I told him I can't read. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Well, we can. You can go ahead and uh, sit down if you. I don't know if you can actually sit there. I'm not sure. Out of character, I'd, I actually don't know how to do that. Go close to it and press K. What do you say? Go close to it and press K. Okay. In my work, yeah, just just stand, I guess. Just a tip. In the future, just just uh, respectfully, okay. Don't take it the wrong way. Okay. Instead of saying that part, say in in head. Just for lingos. Gotcha. Okay. So I say in head, and then yeah, that kind of means 
out of character. I kind of want to stay always, you know, in here. Gotcha, gotcha, thank you. Yeah, I don't have time to mean it, I'm just helping you. Anyway, let's go through this because uh, I'm failing chat. I'm tired. <laughs> it's 11 uh, p.m. for me right now, so I'm kind of like half asleep. I'm sorry, my friend. I, I understand I was late. It took me a while to find this place. And that's the worry. So we're just going to go through it a lot. Uh, you know, the interview process and then maybe Daniel can FTO you or you can just get, you know, be a trainee and then you can request one and on the emails any day. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so... Can you, yeah, can you tell me about your previous experience as a EMS in any cities? Give me a little brief details on what you did, why you did it, did you enjoy it, what was your position? Uh, yes, my position um, was in a city called, um, I think it was called Proof City, and I was an EMS for a very long time. Uh, the issue was is that city, unfortunately, uh, the hospital, the water supply got tainted with hallucinogenics and uh, the hospital ended up getting shut down. So I had to move to the city and I heard there was an opening here at this city's hospital. So that's why I applied. Uh, okay, I thought that I thought that uh only city you ever been in? Have you been in any other city after that? Any EMS at all? Nope, just that city. Um, I was there for probably about a year and a half, and after the hallucinogenic incident, uh, the hospital had to get basically shut down because it, the entire hospital was contaminated, so I had to move away. Chad, how do you think I'm doing? You think I'm okay. doing good? Understand. Well, what was your position though? What, I don't know if you said that. Were you a nurse? Were you a doctor, paramedic? I was an higher. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was an emergency paramedic. Um, most of the time, I was the one they sent to uh, take care of things like uh, uh, stab victims, uh, gunshot victims. Um, usually, the one who was sent to go do that. Okay, I got you. That is nice. Yes. Do you like it? Do you miss it? Some days it's going to be very quiet, you know? Uh, that's just unfortunately how it is. Some days will be quiet, some days will be extremely stressful because it's a lot to do at once. But it's a bit, it's a bit like mixed between. Some days, I keep telling the people I work, do not just stand outside and wait. Have fun, go interact, yada yada, you know? Absolutely. Well, I, I did enjoy the job. I, I love the job, actually. Um, though I will be honest, when the hallucinogenic scare happened, um, everybody on the medical staff, including myself, was pretty badly scarred from it because it was, um, without going into too much detail, um, we lost a lot of people and, uh, it took me a while to decide I want to come back to the job, but I figured I can do a lot of good in this city if I, uh, apply myself here. Yes. That's fine. I'm just going to go through your scenarios because, uh, I don't have my interview, uh, document up right now. I'm on a different little brain, if that makes sense. Yes, I understand. So, with your scenario, scenario one, you have an issue where there are multiple calls coming through and about many down individual around the city. You see another EMS uh, worker on duty. What do you do in this scenario or situation? You said radio over to the other EMS worker and ask for assistance and the down individual currently on the dispatch. That is correct. There, I did put that. Yes. Uh, uh, 
sorry. I did not make this question. I kind of got confused by it for a second there. Ah, oh, yeah, it makes sense. It was a very simple one. <laughs> That's why I was a little... I didn't get it wrong, did I? No. <laughs> I just didn't understand the question. Like, I understand the question. I'm going wrong. It was it's a very simple question. I don't know if you like we're here. Like for example, in this scenario, you have you have an issue where there are multiple calls going through, well, many down individual around the city, right? Normally, they would probably be in the same area, which indicates it could be a uh, gang beef going on, which then would be putting your life in danger if you were just about to go there and pick somebody up you don't want to do that that's why the question confused me because multiple calls regardless of you if you're the only person on on duty or another one you guys gotta do what you gotta do you know but with um if it was a war which has happened twice already by the way <laughs> then that will be a different scenario. I don't know if you are familiar with locations where gangs are, how to how to approach that, but we will go through that too. Awesome. Yes, I would like to go through some of that um, totally different area this new city is to me, so I'm not entirely sure where anybody hangs out here or where the bad areas are. Home dude's in the EU, that's why he's fucking tired of shit. Yes, he has gloves on. I don't know if... I don't know if you, uh... If you were here, Oxy. I, I accidentally told him at first I, that I couldn't okay. read. <laughs> I didn't make this application. I'm just letting you know. And... I had these questions are really weird. They're... Understandable. They're weird. You are at the hospital and the car pulls you up with three individuals. One of them appears to be down. They come in and drop them all and suddenly a gun points at you and they demand to treat you, treat the individual in the lobby. The reason why this confuses me is because they're bringing the individual to the hospital, right? <laughs> why would they point the gun at you to demand them to revive? in the hospital That's... yes i didn't understand that question either i i took it as they were threatening like if i had somebody else i needed to take care of and they were like you gotta take care of our guy right now or we'll shoot you kind of thing i was like well i better do what they say or they'll they'll end me okay yeah they're kind of confusing um Bro. Yeah, i'm gonna change them though uh, i was anyway, real tempted to punch him in the back of the head i had to get my finger out the mouse literally brought the patient to the hospital okay Let's okay. say you are on a call, right? You're going on a call, and it's in Grove Street. Grove Street is currently pretty packed with uh, a certain gang. Yes. There are somebody down. You don't see any threat. You go out. they pointing the gun at you, right? So I'm just going to go through that with you. In scenarios like that, if a person is pointing a gun at you, you're basically, they're basically in a way demanding, forcing you to even do them on the scene. You need to value your life, right? So... Of course, I don't want to get shot. You, yeah, so you would have... Yeah. In a way, you would have to do it, but rules are rules. Technically, we're not Hey, Oxy, congratulations, buddy, you leveled up. done in the hospital. But if that scenario happens, do what you got to do. But if it becomes a pattern when they do it every time, then you would have to come to me because I, I wouldn't accept that. Then they can die. Anyway, next question. So Yes, you are. Congratulations. So I'm just going to go through a few things here because uh, all these questions are making me tired. Um. I'm just going to go through, like, 
your scenarios looks fine. They're a bit confusing for me, but you can go through a few things because there's a lot of things missing here. First oh, of all, I hit mouse one so bad. When there comes to uh, your stages here, it's that you would start the training. Obviously, you would need an FTO. We have um, we have uh, outfits specifically for your rank, mm. which is EMT. We have paramedic, lead paramedic. We're going to change the ranks too, but you would start as a trainee. And then anything you do, you the first stages would be obviously through an FTO. You would have to follow their instructions and. Until your final, you are not to pick anybody mm. up outside the hospital. For example, if you're the only on duty somehow, and you want to be able to, I don't know. Hey, congratulations, be, Puppet. You're level two now. Let's I, go. I have already, unfortunately, had to fire somebody that came mm. in here and drove around. First, they got a warning. Didn't listen. Um you know, pull out an ambulance mm. and drive around as a trainee. No, no, I don't want that. I don't want to see that happening. Uh, your FTO probably won't take long. You seem to know what you're doing. Pretty smart, I would say. Um, but yeah, that will be your stages as an uh, as a trainee. The FTOing is semi quick because we try to push you guys to be able to go solo. Angel one, you would also have to go through mm. an actual hell. You need helicopter license first, which you get at the airport. That's around forty k, I believe. Um, we have standards here. Mm. Like, I want people to be professional on duty. I don't want people to go around. For example, we had some issues with a few of the employees. They were I'm not going to ask that. <laughs> shirt and doing appropriate stuff in the hospital, which got them a strike because we're here to help people. We need to act professional, if you know what I mean. Absolutely. That was a big thing where, uh, where I worked as well. Uh, we had an issue with people who um not not so much the staff but people would come in and um uh basically strip mm -hmm. down and we would have to call uh the police department and it it devolved into a whole thing but i won't continue with that the hospital is a green zone inside not the outside so if anything happens inside the hospital uh, body cam is important because they're not supposed to do that inside the hospital at all. Um, Stop. Yeah, <laughs> when it comes gonna... back to being professional, I want people to be professional. For example, I, I don't want you to get completely bored, but when there's people coming in, you know, I don't want to see one of my paramedics suddenly somehow, you know, lifting a big plant of weed that makes no sense i, I don't want to see that shit ever again <laughs> i'm not attacking you i'm just saying scenarios what has occurred and it will not get you fired but it will give you a warning and if if that warning is not being taken serious you know i actually do give strikes but i do not want people to think i'm mean i just want to to be professional we also have a hospital up in sandy that we do use quite frequently, actually. Um, we use it Damn. for special occasions. Like, let's see, uh, a person up in Sandy is injured, or a person near the prison, or there's a gang. A gang member, they are already outside the hospital waiting for you or me. Whoever, we have a second uh, hospital where you can go to. Here's the prison, which is not ideal. You, you know, you want to use this one, but yes, this the is hospital it. up in Sandy. I'm working with my assistant director to just show you location around there. I think if you ask about it in the FTOing as well, 
they will go through Sandy, which I'm going to make mandatory on FTO in here now shortly. Do yes, you please, overall have any questions for me? Because when you're doing your FTO, they will go through the hospital with you. Uh, no questions. Uh, thankfully, you did bring up uh, that they would take me to Sandy. I'm not familiar enough with this uh, with this city, so I was definitely hoping for kind of like a uh, kind of like a tag along where they could uh, show me. Yes, uh, they will uh, show you. Yes, uh, I'm hired. But yeah, Let's go. I'll give you the roles on uh, emails, and. I can go ahead. I don't know if you are just here for the interview and you can ask for FTO whenever on Discordia or if you're planning on doing something tonight because I'm quite very tired right now or I would love to FTO. Uh, currently, I'm just here for the interview, but when I am ready, um, I'll message. Who would I message on Discordia about uh, an FTO? Uh, anyway, uh, any, there is an FTO request channel. I'm about to give you the role. Thank you so much. Am I shouting? Oh, it's range. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Are you not part of uh, email that is Discordia? Uh, yes, I am part of Discordia. Uh, my alias on Discordia is uh, Timmy. Interesting. I can't see you. Hold on. Uh, it is uh, T-I-M-M-E-E-H-H -E -E -H is my alias on mm. Discordia. Discordia. God. Bro. Uh... Uh, let's see. Server status, announcements, sneak peek. There you go. Uh, when you do your FTOing, uh, they will probably most likely ask you for what your, you want your call sign and all that to be. But you can take that when you have, you know, when you want to do that part. You should see the uh, recruit channels on the emails right now. FTO requests. Uh, Good question, uh, final eval, etc. Yes, I see it. Not that one. That reminds me, uh, I did not have a chance to put my number in the application. Would you want my number? No, no, no that's good. Nah, all good. We're getting new phones eventually soon, so I'm not really uh, worried about the phone. Um, yeah, uh, we're done here. I will uh, set you up on the roster and uh, you can request FTO in whenever. Awesome. Uh, I didn't catch your name. I'm T Tony Belgian. I'm the director. It's nice to meet you again. I'm Chris Chan. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I appreciate it. And uh, when I get back into the city, I'll make sure to uh, message somebody on Discordia so I can get a tour. Yeah, please do. You should probably follow me. You, oh, no, wait. You have key now, so never mind. You can fly out here if you so wish. Thank you so much again. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you'll see me around pretty soon, and I promise I'll make this city a better place. Okay, yeah, great. Have a lovely day. You as well. All right, chat. We got it. We got the job. Let's go. We got the job. What the hell is going on over here? I'm going to ignore that. None of my business. All right, chat. 
We got the job. We're done. Let's go. Hell yeah, nailed that shit. Chris Chan has started his career, and I don't know what is going on over there, and I don't want anything to do with that. Can I sit on this bench? What the hell is going Oh, whoa. I did not mean to. How the fuck? Bro. What is all this? I'm gonna have to get. What the hell, dude? Bro. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need. How the hell? There we go. Bro. Your hair matches your clothes. That that wasn't on purpose. This is the only clothes I could get to not pop through my, my model. You know what I mean? What the hell? I'm breaking the world, guys. The server's broken. I think I just broke the server. Bro. Well, I should probably get out of the server before I break anything else. Hell yeah, chat. We're done. We did it. We are now part of the city. How the hell do I exit the game? I have not played this in so long. There it is. Exit. Let's go, chat. Woo! Hell yeah. And I'm banned. <laughs> oh, man. I can imagine. I could imagine. And you're banned. And you're banned. All right. Um, give me one sec, chat. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get ready to go to war.